Hello everyone, this is Farsky and we are going to try to make, or I guess to experience today, an adventure. Now, we were in our base, that's our droid. We're gonna pretty much make a run for this chest over here. I have no clue if we can reach him. It's sort of a bizarre sort of landscape over here. It looks like, I don't know, maybe if this is the edge I would understand, but otherwise we're sort of uh, in a bit of a trouble. Why do I say that? Well, um... It's sort of a cliff over here, it's just like a sheer drop, so it's sort of nasty. I don't know if my equipment can uh, resist, I don't think so, I don't even know if the bot's gonna come for us, I don't really need him to come, by the way. Uh, hopefully he's not gonna get damaged, I don't have any more orbs to give him, so if he gets destroyed, he's on his own. I don't think we're gonna use him, at least not right now. It used up 5 energy orbs, he was all the way over here. So he used up uh, five energy orbs to get repaired, basically re recharged. Okay, now that's a uh, derelict base. It's, uh, pff, I guess, just material right now for us. Not more but besides that. We're not going to go there, at least I don't think so. Maybe we're going to get chased by predators, maybe. Otherwise, not so much. Okay, enough talk, more action. Let's get going. It's uh, just came about uh, daytime. That sounded sort of weird and quite un... Uh, I guess... Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, it's uh, it just started uh, the daytime. We're doing rather well... Uh, that's a good time, not well. This is what I'm talking about. Sheer drop. I don't want to fall down there. Actually, I haven't been down here either until now. Uh, that's our bot, I think, and I'm kind of lost. Yeah, I think I sort of just stripped. Uh, restripped, yeah. Uh, redone my steps. And I'm about to fall if I'm not going to catch one of this. Uh... Okay, this seems to be neat. Oh shit, no real enemies uh, nearby, doesn't mean they're not there, and we should be on top of the two chests, no idea where they are though, seem to hang on for now, our suit I mean, there are three chests it seems, let's see the map, this is actually something over here, oh it's a ship and three chests, I have no clue if we can reach them. I'm pretty sure if I'm gonna go down there though, I'm not gonna be able to come back up. I'm gonna get damaged by the water. Well, our suit seems to uh, resist as of yet. It's a bunch of weird fish down there, but I don't think they're predators. No idea what those are though. Okay, we're still hung hanging out. We're looking fishes. Can I resist this depth? It seems I can. I'm uh, expecting my uh, windshield to crack at any moment. I guess this is ore? No idea what this is. We're still hanging on. Not gonna mind that. I don't really care what it is. I think it's copper. Oh my god, that's copper. And this is the ship. Where are those goddamn chests? This is what I came for. Orb and some uh, floors. Not so impressed. But they're neat and nice and I can't really ask for more. This one has a bunch of energy uh, orbs. And this is like on top of nowhere. The spear. And a couple of good things actually. This is like the best of them all. Now the rest of the ship is not gonna pretty much give us anything. Copper, come on, take the copper, take the copper as much as I can, till I'm gonna get eaten or otherwise. Let's try to go to half. I don't have like no clue if I can go back up, by the way. But this, this run may just give us enough copper to make our our neck required equipment and, and stuff like that. I'm pretty psyched that actually we found this. No clue, clue where I am, to be honest, oh, this is not the way to go. I'm already tired. That's yeah, not good. Yeah, that looks sounds like a predator. There's a fish of swords. Catch the ledge. Catch the goddamn ledge. Let's go this way. It's a lot of copper around. Try to make a run for it. Come on. 
Come on, get the ledge. Oh my god, I, I may have just escaped. I don't know for sure. Okay, so we're actually having some things over here. No clue what that one is, and I don't really have the time to go for it. But it's much closer to base than the copper itself, I, I suppose. Although the copper mine are not shown on the map. That's, that's sort of problematic. I'm guessing maybe this is copper, or maybe it's magnesium. No clue, but I guess that would be our next incursion, if we're, we're going to survive this one, that is. Come on, try it out. It's... Uh, I'm, I don't want to, like, uh, I don't know, overstep my bounds or something, but uh, there's not that many predators around, and I like that. Don't get me wrong. We seem to be able to actually uh, scale this quite well, even if we die. Oh shit, that's a shark. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to die. Sharky, stay there. Do your thing. Leave us alone, you know. Let me see the map, because I have, like, no clue where I am. Oh, we're actually pretty f uh, close to the edge. My god, I'm all... Um, like I'm, I'm all wet <laughs> because of all the nerve. Yeah, nerves of steel, right? Yeah, my my hands are not shaking. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually pretty hot over here. I don't like the sound of that water. It's kind of nearby as well. Crap, I missed the le the fishy. I have no clue how my hunger is. I don't really care about it now. I'm surprised that my equipment hang on. Uh, to that depth, that actually opens up a lot of more possi possibilities. So we could pretty much just go all around, even over here, which is like really close to the to the map itself. I actually got all the content from all the three chests, and even uncover some more ground. That's actually pretty awesome. I could try to make a run for that, but <laughs> I'm not going to make it. It's pretty far away. I would have really like like another base over here. Oh well, whatever. We found like another uh, ship, crashed ship with three chests, so that's what it was in the end. Pretty neat. Uh, by the way, if my voice is sort of weird, sorry about that. Um, I'm a bit, I guess my, my throat's a bit sore. Now let's eat the, not the energy orbs, more like the carrots. There we go. And another one, and we're sitting right pretty. Uh, let's go to see how our harvest is going, doing, not going. Okay, so I think all the crops grow pretty much at the same pace. I guess I set the carrots a bit later on than the rest of the potatoes, but should still about lose about 10 minutes, and then I think we have a harvest on our hands. I know we have a lot of food uh, waiting for us to actually uh, make, so it's not all that problematic right now. Let's see equipment-wise. What do I need for this? It's cool. This is iron. And this is copper and a lot of gold. Now I have the gold, I have the copper on me, and actually I have some more copper somewhere around here. There we go, I have 32 pieces of copper. If, you, if that's not good, I don't know what is. So let's get the 9 gold. Unfortunately, we don't have that much of this. Let's get the, this iron as well, just in case we need it. Let's set the glass back down because we don't really use it. Yeah, there we go. Let's put all this energy orbs back there as well. Yeah, this is an extractor, and this is our floor. I can, I'm going to use the floors, of course, to enlarge my base as much as I can. Uh, but first of all, I need to go and make myself some equipment. Not over here, although it's pretty neat that I can go there and do that. My god, I can make a five-minute uh, oxygen tank. But I really want this one, so that's a problem. So 15 uh, copper... That's 30 copper, and we're not going to be able to make the helmet up there, apparently. I should have uh, maybe stayed more for more copper, but we're going to try to make... Uh, I'm not going to do this, uh, although that would have been like the best choice. I'm going to do this because I really need it, basically. And I'm also going to make the chest because, of course, I really need it. So let's see, I still have enough gold, but we're going to have better equipment. There it is. Unfortunately, you can't really scrap this, if I'm correct, right? You don't have, like, any opportunity or whatever to actually scrap this. Now, I'm not going to throw them away. Actually, I don't really have that much inventory, but I do have a big, ex big uh, chest over here, which I really don't use. So I'm going to throw them back in, in case I'm wrong and you actually can lose your equipment, your equipped equipment. That sounds weird, but it's about right. <laughs> Uh, I want to have at least a small backup, even if it's not as great as before. Ah, we have some dolphins. I'm pretty psyched that actually we made that uh, 
that uh, well exploration bit I guess or that jump or whatever we we'll call it for me it was uh, a Hail Mary basically well not a Hail Mary but yeah it wasn't really a Hail Mary but that would be like at the end of stuff uh, but it was um, well it, it was a fit of uh, I guess I don't know a not a victory but it was a fit of something don't 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 ask me what I have no idea I guess of courage that would be the word yeah that would be the word for me that was courageous what can I say playing this game seems to keep me on edge <laughs> I do want to see what that is though even if we die so let's see we have some flooring a lot of materials let's put the materials back in maybe we can uh, mine even more of this uh, copper thing which would be really neat I'm gonna put the extractor and there we go this is extractor soda can they stack uh, that would have been weird. Actually, I don't, I don't know what's down there. I'm going to explore first and I'm going to set an extractor on the copper if uh, it's copper down there. So the copper seems to appear on the map just as the iron. Just flicks on land and well, that's about it. If you mind it, you mind it. If not, well, you don't. So in a sense, if I'm going to find copper all the way down here, it's pretty neat that I'm on this sort of type of land. Otherwise, it would have been like way much bigger as a plateau. Plateau, it'd have been way much further out, probably the copper, because it seems to be on different uh, uh, level of depths. Okay, my hunger is pretty neat so far. I'm gonna set out, not set out. I'm gonna place my flooring instead of here, because this is like the chest for building and stuff. I'm going to equip my little uh, knifey and I'm going to get my boundaries for another incursion down below. Hopefully, it's not going to come, uh, nighttime is not going to come that fast and we're not going to die a horrible death eaten by something. The stingray should pretty much leave us alone, for the most part at least. I'm uh, a bit daring. I sh you shouldn't really uh, swim so far out or uh, so much to the top of it. Why? Well, it's pretty simple. Predators tend to stay at that sort of levels. So I actually managed to go down quite a bit. I'm still sort of going for that crystal type shape, whatever that is. It's a bunch of fishes which they should leave me alone, at least at first. Oh, and this is copper. Don't mind if I do. Actually, I don't know what's around. But I should really drill some of these because I need a lot. I basically need uh, how much? 15 for the helm and about another 20 or so. No, those are just fishes. Okay, keep drilling. If we can, we can. I would actually quite like. To... Actually, let's see. Oh, it, I have 16 already, some rock which I don't care. So I need about 19 more. I um, should stay in one place and just do this. Fertilizer we don't really need. I think the fertilizer you get, sand, copper, okay. You get from hitting all those plants around or something. Hopefully there's no predators around. Let's see the inventory, 26. I still need about 9 of it. And the flakes on the ground doesn't seem to disappear either, so I think we're good. So come on, one more. That's it. Let's go for this. I don't have no clue what that is. I don't really want to know, to be honest. Probably something that's going to eat me alive. I think this is gold. Oh, this is silver, actually. And there's even more fishes around. Let's try to make a run for it. There we go. That's the ledge. Still have a lot of oxygen, but it's kind of nighttime. In case you guys didn't notice, I did. Come on, get over there. And I'm pretty sure all the nasties are gonna be on top of us soon enough. Don't go inside the wall. There we go. If you catch the ledge, you actually get a bit of um, of your energy back, you know, for another kick. Sorta. Try to make it all the way up here. Uh, well, pretty neat. No idea where my base is though. Let's see the map. Oh, actually, I'm doing uh, a decent, sort of decent. Oh shit, I've fallen. No, don't want to fall on. <laughs> I want to stay. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, environment. Let me swim or something. 
There it is. Come on again, let's see the map. We're not necessarily in the right direction. This should help out a bit. Hopefully, the predators are gonna let me be, and I'm gonna be able to get back to my base in due time. Actually use all that copper. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that in my back. Hopefully it's just my droid, but I don't think so. I'm close to base, come on, I wanna make a run for it. Is it daytime? Or just, I, I, did I like open a flashlight or something? <gasps> I'm back in. Oh my god, I'm back in. I don't even care about the food, I'm just gonna eat a piss. There we go. Have another one. What's going on? Why it's only 12? It should go lower way much faster. So this is silver. Now this is looking funny to be honest. And I really have like no clue where you use that. Oh well. Let's remove the rock because we really don't even need that. Apparently silver seems to be... Uh, okay, this is a gold mine actually. So the silver was around here and now we found gold. Now we do need a lot of gold. So that could be like our next run, but I don't think we're gonna manage it this episode because probably we're going to be uh, trying to, I guess, outmatch the knight. Well, not outmatch, but the knight's gonna need to pass, so we're not gonna be able to do that much. Let's put the sand back inside the chest with the sand, you know. Oh, I don't think we can set anymore. Yeah, so we're gonna throw this away because we have, we can take it like right beneath our base. We don't really need anything. Okay, uh, what else do we need? Let's get iron. I'm pretty sure I don't need iron. Let's get the gold. Yeah, we're gonna need the gold, the copper, the excess copper that we have, even more of this iron. Let's try to build ourselves the helmet as well. And we did. We just have a new helmet as well as a propeller, whatever mini submarine this is. Scooter, underwater scooter, that's what it is. And I'm loving it. I really don't have it, that much copper left, but who cares at this point? Well, the only problem will be we're going to need a couple of these. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have a bit of a problem on our hands. But we're going to be able to uh, make way much bigger... Well, not make, but cover way much bigger distances right now with the scooter than before. Unfortunately, it also is going to need... I think I'm gonna let this be an iron. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this be an iron chest because, well, yeah, they're not gonna be like next to each other. But this one's like empty, and all these other resources are really gonna get used. So, and I'm not gonna get that many of them. Maybe copper, but not the rest. So they should stay there. Now let's set. Oh, not here. I said in a big chest. There we go. We have like a complete set of uh, items in case we lose the one we have. It's a five minute oxygen tank. If, if you don't love that, I don't know what you will. So let's see over here, not here, like here. So we need, I think that's uh, magnesium and gold for the last uh, type of armor and stuff. Okay, we're, we're doing rather okay. We have like no bite from ourselves, just a bit of hunger. But 12%. I have two potatoes, a lot of more potatoes that apparently I can pick. Where our harvest is actually ripe. <laughs> ripe, that sounds so weird. So ripe. She has good for the taking. Let's go for the carrots first. Yep, two carrots and some seeds. I'm pretty sure they all grow pretty much at the same time. But um, with the risk of getting overweight, because a potato will do that to you, especially if you eat them. Uh, well, not boiled, even boiled actually, even mashed or whatever. They have a lot of calories. Uh, they're good in that sense, but you're gonna get overweight. Oh my god, 75? That is just awesome. I'm gonna put this carrot seeds away, oh, not away, I guess on the side for now, and I'm gonna plant only potatoes because, well, they are better. Until I actually find like a better source of uh, nourishment, I'm gonna go with potatoes. I have no clue what... Uh, carrots are for in this uh, scenario because you get the potatoes as you start the game at least that's how it was for me and as far as I know that's how it is for everyone so um, I guess just for the variety of it maybe maybe they go in some recipes that we don't know like a soup or something no idea don't think you can actually do that but who am I to judge so we have all potatoes I don't even know how many of these we have like let's see four that's seven uh, with another 6 or 13, 20, 
26, 30, 33. We have 33 planting pots and we could still do with three more. We can actually craft those, by the way. Shouldn't be that hard. Let me see. Uh, building, building? Yeah, there we go. We need some iron, some dirt, and a bit of uh, a fertilizer. Mm, I wouldn't really use any of those materials right now because I have way much more food than I can actually use at this point. I don't even know what I got here. I need to set my seeds aside. Come on, knight, go away. I want to make another run for that copper. I want to have at least 20 copper always, if I can, or sort of permanently, on me. Wow, I can actually cook 40 of these. That's like awesome and even six of these well not bad let's let's get going well, I don't have maybe that much coal actually I have a lot of coal to be honest but still oh come on do stay there uh, it is night time but I do want to use this hopefully oh it has a battery yeah I knew something was gonna go wrong I was thinking how are you gonna give me like a scooter to go wherever and not make some sort of uh, I don't know condition to limit it. Now I would go for the iron now that I really need it. But I think I'm a bit afraid that Barracuda is gonna do its thing and bite take a chunk of us. You know what? Frack it. She can take he can do that. Maybe I can get her in the process. So a lot of rock which we really don't need. And only a very small amount of uh well that's actually a problem. Take it all and I'm actually going to have to remove this because it's not giving me any more iron not that I really need it anyway but I will I, I, you kinda need a continuous source of iron for spears and stuff like that hopefully not, I'm not gonna die or something so 8 would be the actual there we go we removed it I looked uh, while I was in uh, that pause, uh, I guess, monitor or something. I looked, um, which is this, the, the the hammer, so you can remove stuff. So I'm just going to put the extractor like, well, maybe I should replace it actually, but I don't really have that many iron uh, deposits nearby. Well, there are a few, I guess, there. Yeah, that should be just about perfect over there. We could actually do it like right now. I can remove and I should remove the rock because, well, we don't really need it. Iron I'm going to keep. So I'm just going to select this. There's like no real enemies nearby just about now. And I'm going to place it there. Actually, let's see how good it is. Wow. Come on, button. So it's 100% iron. Don't mind if I do. There we go, nice and neat, and we're back in our base. Uh, I kind of filmed episodes back to back, so I didn't really have time to check if we can actually repair or salvage that uh, derelict base. And the three iron go here because we have like a 72 or something somewhere. Oh, there we go, actually there's like 75 and a 1. I'm gonna set this aside, I'm kind of afraid to use it to be honest, because I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it. If I die with the rest, well then I'm dead and that's dead, that, but... If, um, I guess, I'm just gonna lose some food, that's like the most precious of everything around here. But otherwise, uh, I don't wanna lose any of the rest. Let's see how many coals we have, 53, we should do just about fine. Now, we died a couple of times in the beginning because we didn't really know how to manage our food. Uh, about now, at least at this point, I must say, we, that's not a problem anymore. And if you have a stove and... I guess some supplies, you know, some like, like some uh, potatoes uh, stuff aside in uh, in a chest in any other base you have, even 20 of them, because you saw how many we, we take from one harvest, about 50 something or something along those lines. Uh, even so, if you cook those and you have a bit of coal in that base, you only need to remember to bring some more coal afterwards, otherwise you're set. Your hunger is not going to be a problem anymore. Hunger, by the way, doesn't kill you directly, it just drains your life slowly until you actually die. Happened, I think, twice to us in the beginning. That's a shark, right? Oh, I would love a harpoon for that one. Okay, well, I'm kind of uh, sitting duck over here and I'm not really doing like anything, just cooking some carrots, which is not necessarily the greatest thing ever. Let's see how our hunger... Oh, our hunger is actually pretty big. We should eat some of the, the carrots for that. 
two of them should be enough. We only have like eight. Oh my god, another button. Eight percent hunger so far. So we're doing pretty decent. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys next time.